So hello and welcome back. Now today I'm painting the stationary engine. Now I have actually already painted it, all right? I was gonna video it before I painted it and I was gonna video it painting it. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I got a bit carried away. So basically what happened was, I saw a stationary engine for sale on eBay. Was it eBay? No, Facebook, sorry. Let me get it right, let me get it right where I went. And it was a Lister um, Junior. I think it's list A, they call it, junior one. And it was about an hour from here. So I thought, I've always wanted one of them, so I'll go and have a look. I messaged a guy all week about this, by the way. This isn't just today, this is all the week. And I said to him, you know, has it been frost cracked? You know, the the you know, because people leave water used to leave water in them, it used to crack the block, ruin it. Um people then bodge it up. I thought, hmm, I don't want one if it's like that, really. I'd rather not have. So anyway, I asked him about that. I asked him about uh, a few of the little bits, like the magneto and that sort of thing. Uh, and for some reason, every time he sent me a photograph of it, it was a of a different. It was the same engine, but it was a different period of time. So one was like from five years ago, one was from like yesterday, one was from f like four months ago. So every time he saw it, it was on a different trolley or something. Or one minute it wasn't on a trolley, then it was on a trolley, and then it was on uh, just a bit of wood, and then it was on cast iron wheels. So, so anyway, this bloke kept going on, you know, and changed things. One minute it had a magneto on, then it didn't. So I said to him, you know, and then we had, di then it, sorry, then it had a starting handle and then it didn't. So I was a bit like, I should just go and have a look at it, you know, because this guy seems a bit weird anyway, you know. So anyway, I drove an hour from here today with the trailer, got the trailer out everything, went all the way up there. Uh, it was near, where would I say it was near? It weren't far from Newark, if you know Newark. Got there. And the first thing I saw on it was massive crack near the spark plug and all around and all around the bottom there cracked from from frost damage. So it was a complete and utter wasted trip. All right. And somebody had bodged it as well. They'd put like stuff in it trying to, you know, hide it. But I don't think he, I don't know if he'd done it or not, but it had been done a long, long time ago. You could see it wasn't a recent uh, bodge up, shall we say. So unfortunately, I was quite disappointed today because this has been going on the whole week, you know, just trying to get to go and have a look at this thing. Uh, and then it turned out the guy, I don't know what he's talking about, and it was a load of old rubbish, really. Um, it wasn't the only bit cracked as well. The top hopper, right on the top, all the cast iron was cracked and broken around there as well, which he just said, well, what do you expect for something of his age? But you can get better ones for what he was charging for it. It was like good one money, you know what I mean? Um, so unfortunately, because this all happened, it threw me off what I was doing and I forgot to record half of today. And then I just sat here and thought, why am I not making a video of it? So I'm bringing you a video now up to the extent of what I've done, which is not a lot. I've just painted a couple of bits. So let me show you what I've done. Now, before I show you, I was originally going to go for a dark green. OK, now this is quite a bright green uh, originally. OK, well, whether original, I don't know, but it was green. It was quite a bright green when you clean bits off when I got this. So... Um, I think it's slightly brighter green because I've decided to do this in some green paint I had left over from the Suffolk Punch lawnmower. Suffolk Colt, sorry, let's get it right. Suffolk Colt lawnmower. So I thought I'd use it up. Um, it's gone a little bit brighter than I expected, but I think it'll look all right, to be honest. Let me show you. So there's the petrol tank. I put the tap on and then put it in the vise to hold it so it doesn't, you know. But I quite like that green, to be fair. It's just very bright. Um... I've made a new gasket for here as well, because that was knackered. But I think it looks all right. It might be the brightest Villiers on the planet. But now I, I, I did do this silver because the aluminium's absolutely rough as anything. And I did try a bit of silver on there to see, but I don't actually like it. So I'm going to take it off and we're going to do it in the heat paint matte black. Um, because I don't know, it's just, for some reason I just don't like the look of it. I think it looks awful. Um, and there it is, look at the green. <laughs> So that's bright, that is. That is bright. Um, <laughs> it's a lot brighter than I expected, I will be honest. But it looks bright, but I think it looks pretty good, you know? <laughs> I think it'll look a bit different anyway. Um, oh, and I've painted the exhaust, so let me show you that as well. There we go. Look at that. It's a lot better, in, isn't it? So, basically, I've just painted all this, and we've got to let it dry before I can put it back together again. Now, the only things I've still got to paint are the fuel tank straps. Now, why I haven't painted these is because these are absolutely seized and I've got to mess about with them for about, I'm going to have to mess about them for ages. Excuse me. So that's what I've been doing. Now, <laughs> I was going to video this, but I got like, say, I got quite annoyed at this bloke in uh, Newark 
that it ruined my day. And I came in here and I wasn't going to touch this today. And I come in here after being quite annoyed, started doing bits and then completely lost track of what I was doing. And then thought, what about YouTube? I'm supposed to be recording this and realised I'd already painted most of it. So it kind of ruined it all. But you all get the gist anyway. So we've got to put it back together again, literally. But uh, yeah, so I hope everyone likes this green because uh, I think it looks all right. But like I say, it is a little bit bright. Um, so we'll see what it looks like when we get it all put back together again and we uh, see if it goes all right. So this is pretty much dry, all of this on here. Yeah? So I'm actually going to drop this back onto the bottom here, the sump, as we would call it. So like I said, I did make a new gasket because this gasket was all disappeared. It was leaking. I did try and have a look for a proper gasket for it and I can't find one anywhere. So I'm going to have to risk what I've done as being hopefully a good job. But literally, I just want to put the engine back on top of here so then it's sort of like, you know, it stops all like the muck and things getting, but there's no dirt in there anyway. It's just been sat on here. But I'd just like to put that bit back together again. So, uh, so yeah, let's get that on there. So there we go. We've got a bit more of it back together. We've got the exhaust on, the inlet, that cover. Um, I've done it in black because I don't like it, silver. Um, it's really tatty, that on top. In the teeth, it's really bad. I did try cleaning it when I done the head gasket, but it's still not really taken. I'm going to do this bit black. Uh, that'll be black. And we just, yeah, a few little bits and bobs. But yeah, it's getting there. I like the green, it's so bright. <laughs> it's gonna be the brightest Villiers going. So we're getting on quite well now. Um, I painted the red arrow on there. I did try and paint it in there and I absolutely ruined it uh, every time. So I might not bother with that again. <laughs> we might just leave that. Uh, I did think of writing the red on the Villiers on there, but I don't know yet. Now, if you're wondering why I've only painted this edge and not the centerpiece, because I'll put a piece of sandpaper on here when it's running and sort of try and wear it shiny a bit and then put some oil on it. But then I'll wear an edge on, if you know what I mean. Like there's been a belt on it at some point. Um, and yeah, so there are two of the nuts. I was doing them in the matte black. Um, and I've done the brackets, actually, in a gloss black. Um, they were green originally, but... Let's be honest, we've not gone very original with this rebuild. Usually we go, you know, same colour, everything original. But um, this rebuild, we're doing sort of a bit, well, we're making it a bit fancy, aren't we? Um, <laughs> we're making a fancy Villiers. So, um, yeah. Let me just, uh, well, now all oh, the tanks come out well. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do next is actually put the carburetor back together again. Um, because some of it's wet and I can't touch it, some of it's wet over there and up there. So um, let's put the car back together again. It's a bit fiddly. How do you like being the cameraman, Mum? <laughs> Camera woman? Not, not sure I want to get paid for it. No, no, I doubt it. I'll be honest. <laughs> I do doubt you'd be getting paid I don't for this. Think it's worth being paid for, probably, anyway. That's a bit fiddly, putting that on there. Yeah, don't do the arms, don't do it. Pretty easy, but fiddly. Yeah. Um, do you know, I'm going to do that loose in a minute. Leave it loose for a moment until I hook up all this bit on the back. Because I don't know. Oh. This bit's more fiddly. Try not to sort of touch anything that's wet paint. I'm getting a bit excited here. I'm putting it together faster than I should be. Normal, really. Oh no. There we go, now we're back in the game. That went on there. Right, I'm gonna put a new bit of fuel pipe in there. This was fiddly to do. Oh, governor spring. I don't know, actually, do you know what? I think I should have done the bottom bit. For, oh, no, no, put it on. I can't get it off. Hang on. I think, I can't remember which hole this was. I think it was the, that one. I've got a photo of this on the phone, people. So we have to check it in a minute. So I may be taking it off. Look at that. Does it work? Yes, now we're going to tighten them up, and I've got the this, I don't know what you call it, but it goes on here. Right. So there we go, the carbs all back together again. 
they're working a lot better. I did put a little bit of oil on there. I wasn't going to paint that, but I think now nah, we'll leave that. Looks a bit more rustic. So like I say, what we do is, like I say, when this is running, I'll hold a bit of sandpaper on it and it'll give it a nice edge. Um, I've just got to clean this edge up on here, do the same there. Uh, I'm actually going to fit it onto this piece of wood. Uh, I might even paint the wood, but uh, I want to rub it down and then maybe do it in some saddling, but I'm actually going to fit it onto this block so it's a bit more stable. Um, so yeah, because on these, there's one look there and there's two this side. So I thought, well, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll sand this down and then just screw it down to there, just so it holds. So when you start it, it don't sort of vibrate all over the place. So I bolted it down to this bit of wood. I did put a bit of saddling on there, um, just to make it look a little bit better. I did give it a light sanding, um, not going crazy. So yeah, I think it's coming on. Look at that. Plug in. Just got to get the other fuel tank strap. They're drying yet. They're too wet. I can bolt the tank on. New fuel pipe. Um, put the oil in, and we're pretty much ready to go. See if it'll go. And then all I've got to do is clean some of the paint off the edge of here. Clean the paint off in. Clean this paint off on this edge, and try and give this a bit of a shine. And yeah, good. Let's hope it goes nice and easy. So I'm going to put the oil in now because I'm hoping um, it'll be easier than doing it when the fuel tank's on. I don't know if I can do this two-handed for very long. <laughs> right, let me come back to you. So that's the oil in, nice and full. So I'm just about to put the cap back on. Now this cap was originally red, so I've redone it in red. Um, there was original red paint still on it. So I've actually got this piece of fuel pipe I nicked off something else a long time ago and it actually had the proper little clips on, look at those. Brand new piece of pipe. I think I bought it for a lawnmower or something, I can't remember. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's gonna go on there, so that'd be nice. And the fuel tank is on. Look at that. Much better, look how bright it is. I think it looks worse with the camera light on though, but it's proper. I think it looks all right. <laughs> So can you believe that is nearly it finished? It's all put back together again. It's all got a shine on it. Um, yeah, so we've bolted it all down. New fuel pipe. Um, it's all put back together again. So literally all I've got to do now is clean this piece off and then I'm gonna get a bit of shine on it. I'll put a bit of oil on there. I've just got to clean this bit off in here because it was a bit went over a bit but considering out what it was like i think that looks quite good i don't think it looks too bad in that green at all it's growing on me i like it more now because no one else has got one this bright <laughs> so uh yeah so next job is to see if it works now this is the main thing um now i've got no petrol at the minute so that's ruined that idea of today um so we may try it tomorrow okay so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we're going to try it out. Yeah, hopefully it will go first go like before.